New recruit Polly is out on the town with some friends. <laughs> but Polly knows hustlers never buy the drinks. Right, ben, I've got to ask you a question. Do you think in my glass I've got more drink than you've got in yours? Yes. Yeah, OK. I've got a little challenge for you. Yeah. OK. Right, this is the bet, OK? I bet that I could drink all of this yeah. before you could finish yours. OK? If I do finish mine before yours, you have to buy me a drink. If you drink yours before I finish mine, then I'll buy you a drink. What's, what's the glass? Right, yeah, this is the condition, OK? Right. The condition is you have to drink both of these drinks at the same time using both straws and you have okay. to keep sucking the straws until all the liquid is gone. Right. Yeah? OK. So you up for this challenge? OK, yeah. Give me a little shake. Yeah? OK. So to win the prop bet, this guy needs to finish his drink before Polly does. And he has an edge. Not only does he have less liquid to start with, he has two glasses and two straws to drink from at the same time for double the suction. One of you say one, two, three, go. Right, okay. And on the go, start sucking, yeah? Right. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> oh, you double sucked. <laughs> I won! Polly finished first, and that's because her friend's glasses had an uneven amount of liquid in them. Go. Once he'd emptied one glass, he was just sucking up air through that straw, meaning he had no suction on the liquid left in the other glass. So he'd never be able to complete the challenge. What a sucker. <laughs> I won! Told you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I burped really loudly. <laughs> it just came out. Well, <laughs> don't forget a day with Polly, will you? <laughs> Polly is out on the town with some new friends, and she knows hustlers never buy their own drinks. I've got a challenge for you, okay? It's using these three straws. Okay, so the challenge is you've got to pick them up just using this one straw. Oh, and you can't do anything to the straw, so you can't bend it, you can't change it, like, anything <laughs> about his straw. I was just going to hook it. Yeah, you just got to... Like, I hook it or anything? No, no, okay. you've got to keep it straight. Ready, OK. OK? If you can do it, I'll buy you a drink. All if you right. can't do it, you can buy me a drink. OK. Yeah. Yeah, Are we on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Deal, deal. deal, 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 yeah? So, there's one straw propping up two joined straws. To win a drink, Polly's friend needs to lift all three of them using a fourth straw. It's a tricky one. Good luck. OK, go for the simple one first, then. Yeah. Oh, good attempt, right? That's really good. Let's try it again. Any ideas? You could try, like, sucking. Suck. <laughs> 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 you can do. Just suck yeah, really, really hard. Yeah, come on, give it a whirl. Right, OK. <laughs> one. Oh! So do you give up? I do, yeah. I do. If I can pick these three straws up with that one straw, you'll buy me a drink. A large one? I will. A large, there you go. OK, I'll show you. Ready? Show us how it's done. Do -do -do -do. Whee! <laughs> Polly collapses the straws, causing them all to rest on the one she's holding. Then she just lifts, and the whole structure is interlocked together. Now she just needs a drink for all those straws. Mine's a martini. Off you go. <laughs> Fantastic. Polly is out on the town and she's not planning to buy the drinks. So basically, I've got a challenge for you. OK. I want you to try and get that 5p from under the glass without touching the glass or even pushing it over or moving the glass at all. Okay. Okay. If you can do it, I'll buy each one of you a drink. Right, okay. If you can't, you've got to buy me a drink. Okay. So you up for the challenge? Yeah. 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 So there are two 2p coins supporting a glass. 
Polly's friends need to remove the 5p piece lying right in the middle. But there's no moving and no touching. No chance. Can't touch glass, I can't knock over. Yep. That's impossible. Um, I don't think you take the two really Do you want to give it a whirl? Uh, okay. Try and get that 5p out. <laughs> <laughs> you moved the glass. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea what we've um, Just go crazy. Just, just go, just go crazy. Glasses moving. Okay, glasses moving. <laughs> I have Another no go. Idea. I have a bit. No. So do you give up? Yeah, you give up? Going okay, so if I can get that five p out from under the glass, that moving the glass and knocking it over, you're gonna buy me a drink, yeah? Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That is close. The secret is in the napkin. Polly scratches the fabric near the glass. This makes the 5p coin move about and limbo dance its way to freedom. And that means one free drink. Yeah, can I have a gin and tonic, please, boys? Polly is out on the town. But tonight, she isn't going to buy a single drink. Instead, she's going to make her friends buy them for her. Right, who wants to bet with me? Who wants a little bet, yeah? OK, if you lose, you've got to buy everyone a round of drinks. If you win, I'll buy everyone one, yeah? OK, so here I have three bottle tops. OK, the bet is I want you to get this one in the middle of these two, OK? And there's like a couple of rules. This one, you can move, touch, do whatever you like with that one. This one, you can't move, that has to stay okay. there. And this one, you can't touch. So do you want to give it a whirl? Sure. Yeah. So this top needs to go in here. But they can't move this one. And they can't touch that one, eh? So I can move this one. Yep, you can touch, move that one, yep. To get it in between. That's good, but it has to be in between like this. Actually in between. Yeah, them. actually okay. in between, yeah. That's quite good, but this one moves. Yep. So that's. But. I give up. You give up? Yeah. So three, I can move and touch this one. This one I can touch but not move, and that one I can't touch. And that goes in the middle! <laughs> so Polly holds this one, knocks it with that one, and moves the bottle top into the resulting gap. Simple. Sort of. So this time I will have a glass of wine. Brilliant. <laughs> Lovely. So, I've got a challenge for you. Here is three shot glasses and ten coins. They're just normal coins. So I want you to put an odd number of coins in each glass, but you have to use all ten coins. If you can do it, I'll buy you a drink. If you can't, you've got to buy me a drink. So to win a drink, Holly's friends need to divide all the coins so there's an odd number in each shot glass. It just doesn't add up. Okay, okay. Can I start with you? Yeah? Yeah, yeah? So an odd number in each glass. One, two, three. Three. Put three in that one as well. Three in that one. And they have to be inside the glass? Yeah? They have to be inside the glass, yeah. Three. So three. Uh... Think of other odd numbers. Yeah, yeah, the odd numbers aren't the hassle. <laughs> 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 Like that? You have oh, to have right, a okay. coin in every glass. Uh, I don't know. No? So. Someone else want to have a little go? No idea? No idea. Any idea? <laughs> okay, right, so if I can do it, you'll buy me a drink, right? Definitely. Yeah? Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there's three in there, three in there, and three in there. So I put four in there and then add that seven in there. <laughs> Odd numbers. <laughs> it's easy when you know how. To start, Polly puts three coins in each glass and is left with one spare. She adds it to one of the glasses and then puts it into one of the others to make seven coins. So there's three in this one, three in this one, and seven in this one. All odd numbers, Polly wins. The bar's that way, and mine's gin and tonic. One. OK, I've got another challenge. Are you up for this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Sure. If you lose, you've got to buy everyone a drink. OK. And if you win, I'll buy you a drink, okay. yeah? So I have four coins here. 
basically, this is the starting position, and I want you to end it of all the coins in a row. Right. OK? Mm -hmm. It's not that simple. Um, you can only move one coin at a time, and it has to end touching two. So you can move them all as many times as you want, but it has to touch two every time you move it. So to win the bet, Holly's new pals have to go from this to this. But they can only move one coin at a time, and it has to end up touching two other coins. Try and get them in a straight line. Um, I can only move one? One at a time, yeah. Yep. Um. That's good, you just kind of made it in a reverse one, in a reverse position. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to go? Yeah. You just one at a time? One at a time, yeah. I think I'm just repeating. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I show you? Yeah. If I can do you all by me a drink? Yeah. yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Polly never said the coins couldn't be separated. One, two, three, four moves equal one free drink. I will have a whiskey and coke, please. Uh, okay, then. <laughs> Thank okay. you. And sometimes.